stone edge surfaces. And today what we're going to do is we're going to use our stone edge surfaces crack fill material. to be able to get a much thinner viscosity of the material. Now, as you see, as I started talking with you guys, it's a little lumpy, so I wanna make sure that I get all of those lumps out. So I wanna stir long enough, whether I use uh, a drill or something of that magnitude, just make sure not to whip it uh, and over stir to work air and trim in it. But now you can see, as I have begun to work the material, it's much thinner and starts to come off and drip like a, a thick or a medium viscosity paint. Um, you can go all the way to a thin viscosity paint. It would depend on how deep and how wide your cracks may be that you'd be filling at that time. We're gonna actually go outside here on some product uh, that has been put on a particular wall. Uh, we don't know whose it is. It's just something that has uh, some uh, hairline cracks in it that we're going to fill and show you how to do that. Hi, Greg Hensley with Stone Edge Surfaces, and today we're going to be using our crack fill to fill in some cracks on some material that we don't know quite whose it is, but we know that it has some issues. And always keep yourself some water and cellulose sponges so that you can clean out as you go. Once you have your viscosity level of the crack fill material nice and thin, you want to take a cellulose sponge, and it all depends on how thick your crack is. And a lot of, and a lot of uh, times that's going to be way too much material, so you'll want to kind of scrape that off a little bit, and then you'll want to kind of get it down into the crack. See where there's a larger hole right there? Well, there I'll dip in a little bit more. Boom. And just kind of go right over. So I have now filled that crack in primarily. And I'll take a secondary sponge with some moisture and rub along the outside, kind of like grouting tile. Don't mistake moisture for material that you're dragging. Just make sure that you Go along the area, and now as I've done it, that crack is still gonna show up as a little bit darker just because there's a little bit more material in there. But in most cases, it will be filled. Now, there's that section that was a little bit larger down here, so maybe I just need a little bit more material. And if that viscosity level is not quite enough, then you may be able to use a little bit of a thicker paste, meaning just add some, uh, basically some stone edge surfaces, more crack fill powder, to the actual material that you were using, and you'll be able to uh, fill in thicker and deeper holes. So Greg Hensley with Stone Edge Surfaces, and as we've used some of the Stone Edge Surfaces crack fill material, you'll notice as we filled in the crack, you can still see the darker line from where the material is inset into the crack, but as five minutes go by, and as actually we're even talking, you can actually see it start to dry and start to become more in line with the color of the actual stone and, and regular cement color that was used on the surface. And that's key because that's going to show that you'll be able to recolor this product and do whatever you need to do to get everything nice and uniform. And I, even as we've stood here for the next last minute, it's actually dried more and more to be less noticeable from the crack that you see up here. So that's what we started with. And down here is what we are ending up with. And now you'll be ready to color your project or it doesn't matter if this is regular concrete horizontally, a four inch grade pour. Anytime you have a hairline or even something a little bit larger, you can use stone edge surfaces, crack fill material to fill those in. And we have already used stone edge surfaces, crack fill system on a particular part of this wall that had some problems with some hairline cracks that were going through some type of material that was placed upon this wall. When we used our crack fill from Stone Age Services, we filled in that hairline through here, and as you can see now, it continues on here. So for someone that would be using that, you would just continue on linear-wise for each crack that you wanted to fill until you were satisfied with that particular fill. And I will say, it does not matter if you have a colored surface of integral color or even topically colored material. Um, what you can do is you can actually use stone edge surfaces, liquid colors, at the time of mixing stone edge surfaces, crack fill system, and you can integrally color the actual crack fill system so that you can match different areas of the project that may have different colorations at that particular section. 
And the way to do that is when you actually mix that material with that color, get, keep a hair dryer with you. So when you swipe it on something as a sample to know if it's gonna match the color of your particular project, you can quickly blow dry it. And as it dries, you will see if it matches the surface color uh, of a vertical project. Uh, same thing for a horizontal project. That project may be sealed uh, with a particular solidity of a solvent-based sealer or a water base. So again, you would still do the same thing. Uh, it may be a little bit of, bit of a darker content, but you would still use Stone Edge Surfaces Crack Fill System with Stone Edge Surfaces Liquid Coloring System to integrally color that mix before filling any hairline crack that you may have. Hey, it's Greg Hensley with Stone Edge Surfaces, and before we begin our horizontal crack fill system from Stone Edge Surfaces, I want to point out that we had just recently done a vertical one uh, outside of this area, and so I've brought the same uh, crack fill material back in, uh, and so it has sat for maybe the last 10 to 15 minutes, and what happens is it'll congeal a, a small amount. water on hand so that you can periodically maybe just put a few drops in there and be able to re-emulsify and thin it up and all it takes literally is just a very small amount okay so just a small amount and that will allow you to thin it back up and get it where you need to get it Hi, Greg Hensley with Stone Edge Surfaces, and today we're going to use Stone Edge Surfaces crack fill material system to be able to fill a hairline of horizontal crack. Now, this is a sample that's been sitting around our shop for probably a good eight to ten years. And so we pulled this out, and, and it's been walked on. It's just on a piece of drywall. It's just something we threw together to probably show a client many years ago. It's been carried around, so it has a, a numerous amount of cracks, actually. Um, so that being said, we just want to kind of show you how to use the crack fill system from Stone Edge to fill that in. We went over the mixing instructions in a prior part of this video, and so now what I'd like to do is, uh, after going ahead and doing a vertical uh, crack fill system from Stone Edge Surfaces, we're going to fill a little bit of a horizontal one right here. So I always keep a little water with me, and you dip your sponge down in, and most time if you see more than a buildup on your cellulose sponge, a lot of times that may be too much. So just kind of scrape along, just so you just see a film on your cellulose sponge, and then go along that hairline crack, fill that in, and then use your secondary sponge that has maybe 20% retention of moisture to grout and pull that accent material away from both sides. And as you can see now, where this crack was existing going through the stone now we no longer have that crack it now blends right into the actual system so i'm going to continue on after we've just done our first primary hairline crack from stone edge services crack fill system as you can see that has already disappeared i'm going to continue on to this particular crack as well and as we mentioned earlier you don't want a huge buildup of material so i'm going to scrape that off i'm going to use what's left to come in and fill, just like if I was possibly grouting tile. Notice I'm staying away from my grout joints. Uh, if you happen to get some in, you'll be able to use the cellulose sponge with a little bit of moisture retention to be able to pull that back out. But right now, all I'm doing is primarily filling with the Stone Edge Surfaces Crack Fill material, and then I'm using just, again, uh, cellulose sponge with about 20, 30% moisture retention to be able to go along and grout it to pull all the excess material away so all you're left is what is down into the actual hairline crack that originally existed which has now disappeared and i will moisten the whole stone just so you can see that that product has filled everything that we wanted to that's how i'm keeping the cellulose sponge flat because I don't want to pull material out of that hairline, so I don't get it on its edge. The only time I have it on its edge is when I'm actually putting material down into a hairline or maybe something that's a little bit wider than a hairline crack, which is still fine to fill with a stone edge surfaces crack fill system. 